advance to the high school gridiron now. Mayo kicking off Section 3 6A tournament play. Spartans get its first playoff win in 6A. Knocking out St. Michael Albertville 28-21. Mayo will now face Stillwater in the next round of this tournament. Let's hit the tennis courts next. Specifically, the baseline tennis hitter. Got a couple individual state titles on the line in girls tennis. And we'll start in Class 2A, the singles title here. Second seeded and second ranked, Claire Loftus taking on the top seed, top ranked player, Cassandra Lee from Egan. Lee comes in unbeaten on the year, Loftus 26 and one. Join in first set, tied at four, Loftus a high return. Lee squares up a strong forehand. It's a great job from Claire to recover. But Lee able to smash this to the other side. Loftus down 5-4 in this first set. But the junior's far from done. Gets things tied back up here. This gorgeous drop shot there. Set point now. It's a powerful serve from Loftus. Return sails out of bounds. The Spartan junior takes set one, 7-5. From there, it was all Loftus. Up 5-0 in the second set. Look at that beautiful shot dropping in. Mayo's Claire Loftus wins 7-5, 6-0. Loftus, the Class 2A singles champ. The first from Rochester since Century's Jessica Aney in 2011. Let's go to the 2A State Doubles Championship now. Mayo's top-seeded Malia Dean. Keely Ryder against Lakeville North's Kiara Kelly and Addie Bowlby. First set here, tight match. Mayo down 5-4. The unseeded Panthers, a strong overhead. Mayo. Drops set one. But the Spartans fight back. Second set up 5-3. This ball is lofted up for Ryder. And the Spartan brings down the hammer. This is Sparta. We'll go set point here. Dean at the net says, see you later. Splits on the overhead. This one's going to a decisive third set. Match point here. The Spartans end it with an ace. Dean and Ryder win it. 4-6, 6-3, 6-3. Look at the little dance they're hitting right here. Maybe me and Tom can do this after the show. What a weekend for Mayo. Team title, singles champ, and doubles champ. Let's hit the volleyball courts next. RCTC in the Region 13 tournament. Yellow Jackets drawing Alexandria in the first round here at Anoka Ramsey. Jackets dropped the first out of this one, but stormed back in the second. Samantha Martorelli and Ella Landsteiner combined for the block. As RCTC ties this match to set a piece. Alexandria with the answer, though. Third set, big swing. RCTC tries for the block, but Kendall Cop tools it. That goes out of bounds. RCTC down 2-1. Later match point here, a big swing. RCTC got a hand on it, but can't get the dig. That is down, and this match is over. RCTC falls three sets to one. Jacket season comes to a close at 15-10. Lastly to the pitch, Halloween practice today for the RCTC women's soccer team. So you'll see some costumes here as the team gets set for district tournament play. What a year it's been for this Yellow Jackets squad. 10-1-2 record and a third straight Region 13 title. It's a far cry from the team at the beginning of the year uh, when I went out to speak with them was young and still coming together. This group attributes its success to its work ethic and connection. Now the Jackets hope that can propel them on a district tournament run. Just putting in the work at practice and realizing that we only have so many opportunities to play and we have to make the most out of these things and just work hard because this is what we've been working towards. We need to come in with confidence. We need to fully be there. We've all prepared to be to this point. So there should be no excuse why we don't put our best foot forward. We've watched the film. We've done the research. We've put the hours in the entire season. So you know what? We're ready to bring it and we're coming in with a great mindset. Tomorrow's game will be a test, though. RCTC draws the number one team in D3. Delta College, Delta went 19-0 in the regular season, averaging 5.74 goals per game. Should be a battle. It's tomorrow noon at the Regional Sports Stadium.